Hello everyone, my name is Shane, and in this video, we're going to be checking out the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. This tablet is available at the time of this video. I'll have some links in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The retail price is $800, which is what I personally paid for this tablet. It comes in two different colors. We have graphite and this beige color we're going to be checking out here today. We have two different configurations of this tablet. We have eight gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. Hey, let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy Tab S9. Just for a quick point of reference, this is how much smaller the box is compared to the Ultra variant. So we definitely have a smaller and more compact tablet here. Inside the box, we have our device on top. Let's put that off to the side here. Of course, we have our S Pen included inside the box. Love to see this. Have a nice matte finish here and a white color to go alongside the beige tablet. Inside the box, we also have a lengthy Type-C to Type-C charging cable. We have a SIM ejection tool to access the micro SD card slot. And we have a little bit of paperwork, but that's everything inside this tiny box. Let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy Tab S9. Taking our first look at the Tab S9 in the beige color here, really liking the clean overall design and look here. We have just the single camera module this year compared to the Tab S8 from last year that had a dual lens setup. Also, the first thing I noticed is there's this big black strip going across the Tab S8, but on the Tab S9 here, it's a more consistent color and finish with the device itself. We of course have the new functionality that the S Pen can charge both ways on this tablet. So you can connect it either way and charge it either way. You're gonna be good to go there. So we have 502 grams on the Tab S9. We're at 493 grams. So we do have a little bit more weight on this Tab S9, but that's because it has a larger battery capacity. It has an 8,400 milliamp hour battery capacity compared to the 8,000 milliamp hours found in the Tab S8. So we have a bit of a battery bump here. Taking a physical tour of this Tab S9, on the top here we have our power button and our volume rockers have two mics and our micro SD card slot, which you can add one terabyte of storage to this tablet. It's also worth mentioning we no longer have the fingerprint sensor built into the power button like we had on last year's Tab S8. I always love just tapping this quickly to get into the tablet, but we no longer have that here on the Tab S9. We're gonna have that built-in fingerprint sensor to the display. On the right side, we have two of our four speakers. We have our Type-C port capable of 45 watt super fast charging. On the bottom, we have our connection pins for our keyboards and accessories and two mounting points. And on the left, we have our other two speakers and one more mic. Here's a quick color comparison of the two color options for the entire Tab S9 series this year. Of course, we have the beige and then the graphite here on the Tab S9 Ultra. Last year on the Tab S8, we had more of a black finish. So this is definitely more gray here on the Tab S9 Ultra. And this beige on the Tab S9 is definitely reminding me of Samsung's silver color options, but overall a really clean look and design here. Have really nice matte sidings on this. This feels great in the hand. It's very lightweight and portable. Let's go ahead and boot up the Galaxy Tab S9. Taking our first look at the 11 inch display on the Tab S9, this is one of the primary upgrades coming to this tablet this year. We're getting the same great AMOLED display on this Tab S9 as we have on the Tab S9 Plus and the Tab S9 Ultra. Now, of course, the Ultra is a significantly larger tablet, has a lot more screen real estate and thinner bezels but this Tab S9 is coming in at a much more affordable price. But so we're not all staring at a white screen, I'm gonna go ahead, put my information into this tablet, I'm gonna use it for the day, and I'll come back with my final first impressions on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. All right, so I've spent a full day now with the Galaxy Tab S9, and I'm definitely ready to share some of my first impressions with you guys. Starting with the biometrics getting into the tablet, the in-display fingerprint sensor works great on this tablet. It's really fast and responsive. I think it's actually faster than it is on my Tab S9 Ultra. It just gets me in really quickly, and you can also access this with the screen off. You can just jump right in from the display turned off, really liking the fingerprint sensor. And the face recognition also works equally as fast, very quick and responsive and works well to get in, but I still prefer that fingerprint sensor to just get in quickly and reliably every single time. And once we're in, we're greeted by the 11 inch AMOLED display. And initially first impressions here, really enjoying the display on this Tab S9. We have a really nice display here, really bright and vibrant. I also noticed that the viewing angles seem to be better on this Tab S9 compared to my Tab S8 from last year. It might not be perfectly portrayed through the video, but in person you can kind of notice that if you move the 
the tablet even just an inch or two to a different direction, you can kind of see parts of the screen fading out. But on my Tab S9, I'm not having this problem at all. The viewing angles are great. If you look at both of the tablets from this angle, these are both at maximum brightness. You can really see the difference here, the viewing angles on the Tab S9. Now, if you're just looking at the home screen side by side, you really can't tell that much of a difference. It is impressive how good the colors and the display were on the Tab S8 with its LCD display. But again, on this Tab S9, I have noticed that colors seem to be more accurate. A prime example of this is just my icon for my YouTube channel, just a selfie of my face. And on the Tab S8, it just looks kind of more red for some reason. Whereas on the Tab S9, it just looks a lot more clear and just what is the actual color of my skin tone. So colors seem to be more accurate. They're a bit more vibrant and the viewing angles are definitely better here on the Tab S9. So really been enjoying the 11 inch display. Another improvement we have here on the Tab S9 are the speakers. So Samsung claims they're 20% louder speakers. And in my initial side-by-side -side testing, I could immediately tell that the speakers are definitely better on this Tab S9. The speakers on the Tab S9 definitely pack more of a punch. It's very noticeable and it is very impressive how loud and how good sounding the speakers can get on this compact of a tablet. Now, another improvement and update coming to this Tab S9 is found around back on the S Pen. So Samsung's lowest latency of 2.8 milliseconds can now be found here on the Tab S9. I believe last year on the Tab S8, it was 5.6 milliseconds. And I can definitely tell in my initial drawing and writing that the response time is very quick here. A very smooth and fluid S Pen writing experience so far. And I was also pleasantly surprised to find out that the magnetic attachment of the S Pen to the tablet seems a lot more secure on this Tab S9. So if we first take a look at my Tab S8 with the S Pen on the back, you can see on the edges, it's very slippy, very slidey. It has that connection in the middle of the S Pen, but on the outsides, it's very loose and flimsy. But now if I do the same exact test, the S Pen is not moving nearly as much. It has a great connection to the tablet, which I'm not as worried about the S Pen slipping or I'm gonna bump it by accident and then it's gonna slip off the tablet or something. It has a great magnetic connection here. So even though we're not getting any new groundbreaking features with this S Pen, I'm really happy that it has just a really good secure connection, just great for that everyday peace of mind. And in addition to that everyday peace of mind, we now have water resistance on this Tab S9. This was not something I was expecting to come to this Tab S9 series, but I'm so glad we do have water resistance here, especially on this smaller Tab S9, because this one is much more likely to be taken out and about with you and on the go. You never have to worry about water coming into contact with your very expensive tablet. Now with this tablet being so compact and portable, I found that using the cameras is actually pretty doable on this tablet. I actually found myself using it around the house, which I wasn't expecting. I was filming some videos, taking some pictures and things. As far as the primary lens on the back, it takes good enough photos. As far as just video filming, you can film up to 4K 30, and it's very easy to film with this, again, just because it is so lightweight and portable. Taking a look at the front-facing camera now, this is filming in 4K 30 resolution, and I decided to do this segment walking around just to showcase how lightweight and portable this Tab S9 truly is. I'm just holding it in one hand out in front of me. Another example here, just sitting on the couch, have the tablet sitting in my hands on my lap. You have a great wide angle lens here to capture a lot of what's going on in your surroundings if you wanna incorporate some things in your video calls and things like that. Just again, a great vantage point here, really liking the video quality on the Tab S9. Now, of course, one of the biggest changes coming to this Tab S9 is the processor packed inside the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and this is gonna mainly affect your battery life. So in my first full day of usage, mind you, while the device is still learning my usage patterns, I was able to get six and a half hours of screen on time of 13% battery remaining. Mind you, I was doing absolutely everything on this tablet to prepare for this video as far as all of my work and all of my play and all of my entertainment. So two and a half hours of YouTube, an hour of gaming, about an hour and a half of productivity tasks, 45 minutes or so of writing and drawing and sketching with the S Pen. So I'm very happy to see getting six and a half hours of screen on time with a little bit of battery left. So I think it's safe to say you're gonna be getting at least an additional hour of battery life out of this Tab S9 compared to the Tab Tab S8. Now, when it comes to pushing this Tab S9 to its absolute limits, I did find a little bit of limitation when it comes to productivity. So if you're using Samsung DeX, for example, 
there's just not as much room to have multiple windows open and to be working on a lot of things at once. Now on the flip side, just your standard multitasking, let's say you have YouTube open on one side and you're jotting down notes on the other side, or just if you're doing a basic use case, the multitasking is great. But when you try to jump into an Excel sheet and then have next to it a web page where you're trying to get information from it, I did find it just a little bit more difficult to be fully productive on this smaller display. And I know these are two completely different products in two different price ranges, but if you compare the Tab S9 Ultra to this Tab S9 on the tabletop, it's just a night and day difference. So when I was doing my work and my everyday tasks on my Tab S9 today, it was just a little difficult to do some certain tasks. It just wasn't as fluid and seamless as it is when I'm using my Tab S9 Ultra at a tabletop. But I think it goes without saying that the Tab S9 is, again, a totally different device. This is going to be in your hands most of the time, whereas my Tab S9 Ultra, it hurts my hand just to hold it for a brief moment to write down a note or something. Whereas on the Tab S9, I could hold this in my hand all day long. I could write on this and draw on this with it in hand for as long as I wanted to. It's a great, comfortable hold in the hand. And overall, I think that is who this tablet is truly for. This tablet is for someone who's going to have this in their hands all the time. It's going to be everywhere with them. You're going to have it in bed with you. You're going to have it sitting on the toilet. You're going to have it on the bus with you. You're going to have it on the train. Overall, I am super impressed with this Galaxy Tab S9. There is a lot to be excited about. So glad that Samsung didn't skimp out on any features or functionalities coming to this tablet. We get all of the latest and greatest features and specs. And it is very much worth considering the fact that this is $200 to $400 cheaper than the other versions of essentially the same tablet. You just have a smaller screen size. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Galaxy Tab S9 down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. Because in my next video, we're going to be checking out the Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. It's coming to my doorstep tomorrow, so super excited to check that one out with you guys. And you can also also check out some of my other Samsung videos I've made in the past week or so somewhere around here. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.